Welcome to my tutorial from, on the MacBook Pro 17-inch A1151 screen replacement. As you can see, the bottom half of my LCD was failing, so I decided to replace it with a new one from LaptopScreen.com. I'm going to take you through the steps to do it. Here's uh, the first step is to just simply remove the battery. Next, we're we remove the four screws from the back of the computer, as well as the uh, the, the screws hol holding the uh, cover for the RAM. There are two torques, torque number six screws that have to be removed. Then we remove the four screws from each side of the laptop and the two screws from the back. Now we remove the three screws from inside the battery casing. These can be a bit tricky because there's a magnet close by that can take the screws from them. Once you get the, these screws out, we're ready to remove the keyboard in the upper case. Gently pry away the case to remove it. The ribbon cable usually comes off, but you can pry it out if you need to. Inside, we, we need to remove uh, three cables three ribbon cables. Um, the first one is the display cable that I'm taking out now. Just gently push it out. At the top, close to the fan, there is the eyesight cable and the inverter cable that need to be removed. When removing parts like this from the board, always use a plastic spudger as you can see in the video. Once these cables are detached, gently pry the tape away and pull the cables, detaching them from the board. Next, detach the two airport antenna cables from the airport guard. Now we can remove the hinges. There are 10 T6 screws holding the hinges on. Five screws at each corner. The innermost screw on each side is longer with a smaller head as shown here. Once all the hinge screws are removed, gently lift the screen out of position. Remove the cables and set aside the, the rest of the computer. You will find two small screws on the edge of the bezel as shown. Remove those. Now you can re remove the back case off of the display. Insert the spudger between the plastic on the back case and the front bezel as shown. Slide the spudger along to, in order to remove the front bezel from the rear case. Work along the right side and, and the lower right corner, prying to detach the clips holding the rear bezel to the rear cover to the front bezel until it begins to separate as shown. Separate the bottom as much as possible and then begin working on, on the left side. Separate the left side some and then begin working on the lower left hand corner. Once you detach the last clip, the monitor will become fully detached from the back. Put the back casing aside. Remove the tape for holding the data cable down and the tape over the inverter. Gently lift the inverter up slightly. and remove the right hand connector. Once the right hand connector has been detached, 
the left hand connector can be hit, can be removed. Feel the three antenna straps from the back of the screen. We need to remove the five screws holding the clutch to the back of the screen. Three of them are located under the antenna straps just removed. Now remove the tape securing the top of the data cable and detach the data cable from the top. Bend the data cable back to expose the two remaining screws holding the clutch to the display. Now that all of the screws have been removed from the clutch, gently push and wiggle the clutch to remove it from the display. It helps to pry it from one end first and then free the, the, the other end. Next, remove the eyesight cable. Gently peel the cable and the tape from the back of the monitor. Flip up the zip retaining flap on the camera cable socket, and then gently pull the camera cable out of the socket. Gently peel the remainder of the camera cable away from the bezel. It's okay if the foam remains on the bezel or on the camera cable. Next we can remove the hinges from the bottom of the screen. Note the small metal shim located behind each hinge. Now remove the four screws from holding the bezel to each side of the display. And remove the two screws holding the bezel to the back of the display. Next, pry the display away from the outer bezel. The display has a thin metal casing attached to it. Be sure to leave that attached to the display and pry it away from the outer bezel together. Be very careful not to bend the bezel as you're removing the display. Set aside your old display and unpackage the replacement. I compared my old display to the replacement and found them to be almost identical other than this small black strip at the top of my display. So I removed it and attached it to the replacement. Remove the tape and the protective coating from the display. Lay the bezel face down and insert the replacement display top first and press into the bezel. Be sure not to get the backlight cable caught. Pinch the display into the bezel as best you can. And then replace the 10 screws holding the bezel to the display. Next, reattach the hinges. Be sure the metal spacer 
is placed between the hinge and the bezel. Now insert the EyeSight camera cable into its socket and lock the zip socket back down. Before installing the clutch, you should place the data cable into the channel, although I forgot to do it here, I will show you later. Um, be sure to place the EyeSight and the inverter cables into the clutch before pushing the clutch up into, onto the display. Here's where I noticed the data cable was not inserted, so I removed the clutch, placed the data cable into the, into the slot in the clutch. This computer has a small plate screwed on behind the data cable holding the clutch to the display. Once the clutch is attached, the data cable can be reinserted into the port at the top of the display. All the, all the cables should be taped down securely to the back of the, of the display. Insert the remaining screws holding the clutch to the display. One of the clutch screws must be used to hold a ground cable attached to the inverter cable. Reconnect the inverter and gently place it back into the slot between the clutch and the display. Tape the inverter cable securely to the back of the display. The antenna strap should still be sticky, but use an additional piece of tape to hold it to the back of the display. Place the rear case on the table and starting with the top, snap the display into the rear case. Replace the two screws holding the front bezel to the rear case. Replace the two hinge caps. Place the display back into the bottom case and insert the 10 retaining screws. Remember the innermost screws need to be the longer screws with smaller heads. The longer screw on the right hand side also secures the data cable through a small eyelet. Reinsert the data cable into its socket. Reinsert both the EyeSight and inverter cables into their sockets and secure the cables to the case. Reinsert the two airport antenna cables. Be sure the two cables are inserted into the special slot to hold them. Insert the keyboard cable into the slot on the motherboard as shown here. And snap the keyboard back into place. Reinsert the 10 screws around the perimeter of the case. Reinsert the three screws in the battery compartment, the four screws on the outside of the, the bottom case, the two torque screws in the RAM compartment, and the four screws securing the cover on the RAM compartment. Reinsert the battery and start the computer up. As you can see, this screen is clear. This is a successful install. 
Thank you for watching my instructional video.